May we present to you a culturally significant book from the collection of the Tumen Region Scientific Library, named after Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev, Marquis de Pompadour by Jules and Edmond Concorde. The Goncourt brothers came from a provincial noble family. The brothers were inspirable since childhood, had similar tastes and interests. They represent a perfect example of literature cooperation. There we can find total lack of individuality of the authors and genuine friendship of two outstanding people, which makes the intensity of the idea and the brightness of the style even more remarkable. In the year of 1900, under Edmund Goncourt's will, they established the Society of the Goncourt's Brothers. On December 21, 1903, the first Goncourt Award was given. It was the most prestigious award in literature in France. Marquise de Pompadour book, published in Paris in 1999, is decorated with 55 fine prints made by Duardin, using copper tablets on separate pages and with two colorful illustrations by Quinsac. Some of the illustrations are printed broadside. All the fine prints are layered with tracing paper with the image descriptions. There are different plots, a lot of portraits. First of all, all the marquees at different age, the portraits of Ludovico XV, landscapes, architecture, favorite dogs of the marquis. The image of the Marquise de Pompadour has always been engaging the minds of writers and artists. The book tells us about the life of Marquise de Pompadour, Jeanne Antoinette Poisson. Her contemporaries, when describing Marquise, have different opinion on the way she looked. From the image of a plump blonde woman with bland features to a stunning woman with copper hair and an ideal oval face. It took Marquise half a year to gain the favor of King Ludovico XV through she didn't pose his remarkable looks. Marquise de Pompadour is more often described as a woman who could manipulate men, possessing the secrets of rejuvenation, and a person good at letting the wish be the father of the though. However, Jean Poisson was an enlightened person, considered herself the apprentice of Voltaire, and was publishing his works. She was devoted philanthropist and publisher the works of Corneille and Diderot. Marquise changed the fashion, bringing the items of man clothing to women's wardrobe. She implemented a lot of innovations of the hairdressing, invented makeup techniques, successfully appeared on stage and made a lot of other useful changes for her country. Obviously, Marquise was an outstanding person, and her endeavor occupied 20 years. For such a long period of time, she was part of the inner circle of the King of France and tightly held the royal treasure key. The king obviously treated the Marquise with respect and was grateful to her for many things. That's why he granted her the permission to die in Versailles though the privilege was given only to the members of the royal family. This fact makes the book tracing the steps on this amazing woman even more interesting. This volume was included in the register of literary monuments according to socially important criteria. The volumes of printed claimed to be the best examples of artistic design, illustration and polygraphic quality. As part of the collection of the rare books of the Tumen Regional Scientific Library, this edition is enclosed in a protective, acid-free container, eliminating external destructive atmospheric effects on the fabric of the book. It is stored in a strictly flat position on a shelf with special climatic controls. This volume is included in the register of literary monuments. You can read more about it in Tumen Region Scientific Library in accordance with the rules for using documents from the rare book collection.